Hey, what's going on, Street Juicers? We are playing Student Union. Uh, it is a visual novel about Anime Ohio. I found this in an advertisement on Facebook, and, uh, well, I'm from Ohio, and I will be able to give you commentary about Ohio. Sam, how do you think Anime Ohio would exist? It sure is existing. I, I have no idea how, but there's a whole ass human heart in the logo, and, like, three people are not paying attention to gravity. You see, I feel like Anime Ohio would be like, you know you know how like in anime you, you always see like um cherry blossoms? Yeah. I feel but like an, I feel like Anime <laughs> Ohio would would be buckeye trees and corn. Nice. So let's 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 uh start the game. Blood, dirt and sweat coat my arms to the elbows, and I can no longer tell where any of it came from. If I keep going with this, I'll eventually be caught. What the hell am I going to do? I don't know, you're in Ohio, what can you do? <laughs> Turner, that's apparently our name. Dumb name. Timmy Turner. A teacher rushes into the office, pushing the door with more force than necessary. I flinch in my seat and sit upright. I bet she is an art teacher. I'm gonna assume so, because that's a very odd uniform if she isn't. She got a, she's got the, the, the paint splattered smock. She sure does. And the turtleneck. You know, all art teachers wear a turtleneck. You're right, you're right. After taking a step in, she stops. She finds the chair across from the empty desk. this year, aren't you? Hey, Miss Webb. Yeah, this year is the first. She <laughs> eyes me with suspicion. What are you doing in here? I was called in on the intercom earlier, so I'm not sure yet. Okay, please keep waiting. She holds back annoyance, though not very well. As she exits, she closes the door more softly than she opened it. I look at the space around me. This is the first I've been here. The administration offices are sectioned off from the classrooms, and this is and this one dwarfs the others. Unattended coffee, or maybe it's tea, sits on the desk. Steam coming up from the cup from the cup wafts in the sunlight entering from the window. This sure has writing. It, it is it is very much written, and I normally don't play these games, <laughs> but I'm doing it for you, because I love you all. I take a breath while combing the office with my eyes. Actually, by the smell of it, it's definitely coffee. Well, I'm glad our protagonist could smell, because I sure as hell can. Guess he doesn't have COVID, so that's good. On the wall, there's a framed certificate titled Masters of Business Administration. It was issued from a prestigious university about six years ago. Why do we need to know this? I wonder which university is. Listen, listen, this is in Ohio. Let's be honest. It's probably an Ohio university. Which ones of our universities are prestigious? Uh, Ken? OSU, maybe? Ken? Kent's? I mean, Kent's prestigious in certain fields. I don't think they're prestigious in business administration. Why is you? <laughs> no shade, I graduated from there, but like, I went there because it was free. Near the degree are sets of frames arrayed with penned butterflies. A wire frame model of a Dodeca dodecahedron oh, sits go. on the desk. Rests on the desk. Sits on the desk? It's just vibing. It's just vibing. Interrupting my fidgeting, and this time without a knock, a well-dressed man enters and greets me with a smile. I mean, I guess he's well-dressed. He has on a tie. He looks like a Tumblr daddy dom. No, you know who he looks like? Who? Oh, God, Shit, yeah. I don't know how to spell his name. Okabe from... Yeah, o Okabe. Yeah, from that... Uh... Uh, He's like a yeah. mixture of Okabe and uh, Kaji. He's like Okabe if Okabe wasn't a mad scientist and just got a degree he's, in he's, business administration. He's he's 
Shit. He's Okabe's cousin who got a master's degree in look, business look. administration. He's, he's Okabe and Kaji. He is Okabe's cousin who got a degree in business administration. He's got he's got like the um like the 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 loosened tie and like that kind of attitude of I don't Kaji. Think his tie's supposed to be loosened. I think they just drew it badly. I don't think it's drawn badly. Well, I I don't tend to like anime men. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Lane. Thanks for being patient. I'm the assistant principal, Mr. Underwood. Carrie? That is his first name. Carrie. We just don't know that yet. Gotcha. I don't think Carrie Underwood's from Ohio. Probably not. I don't know. I must not be in trouble, so I stand and extend my hand. His smile curves stronger at the gesture, and he shakes my hand firmly. His grip is stronger than mine. I, I'm not sure I quite like that where this is horny, going. That sounds but okay. He closes the door behind him, walks to his desk, and seats himself. Go ahead, sit. You know, honestly, I've assumed we've been sitting this whole time, so yeah. this is hilarious. Yeah. Anytime I've ever been in an office, I don't, I don't stand. I first chair I see, shit, I'm gonna go sit down. Yeah. I heard that you were asking around about odd jobs that you could do for the school. I return to the same chair across from the desk that I've been warming and lean forward. What? Oh, you know what? I think he was sitting, but then he got up when he got came in. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that I guess, makes sense. Yeah, that would make sense to shake his hand. Yeah. Yes, sir. I was wondering if I could make extra money during the school year. I was thinking of saving up for college. Smarter than me, Lane, I can tell you that much. Admirable. You were in my senior year, right? Why not get a summer job? <laughs> I worked at the library downtown over break. I was trying to figure out something more local. The bus schedule makes it tricky. Kafka. The Kafka Library. Yeah, it's a bit of a commute. Nearly an hour each way. <laughs> He drinks from his coffee and looks past me for a moment. Why is there a Kafka library? I don't... Oh, is that something? I, I'm unfamiliar. Um, the, the, it, I can't remember if he's a philosopher or an artist, but like Kafka is a well-known... Like there's the phrase Kafka-esque. Um, Franz Kafka. Um, Damn it. Whenever I try to look it up, it just brings up Apache Kafka, which is software. Is he from Ohio? I don't think so. He, he, he was a he was born in Germany, and while there are a lot of Germans in Ohio, he his work fuses elements of realism and the fantastic. There's usually a lot of like surrealism in his work. It's very odd work. You'd probably like it, but like, why the fuck is it a Kafka library <laughs> just in the middle of Ohio? I can't answer that question. Like, he's so well-known and so distinctive in his literary style that the term Kafka-esque has had to be created to just describe... Well, I mean, at least he's got a library named after him in Ohio. Oh, you know what? He was born in what's now the Czech Republic. That makes sense. He was born in what is now Ohio. Well, like, the part of Austria-Hungary that, like, is now the Czech Republic, there's a lot of Slovaks in our... Well, at least in our part of Ohio. But, like... He did live in Czechoslovakia. Did he ever live in Ohio? Let's find out. Here, you keep reading. I'm going to find out if he ever lived in Ohio. Well, I do have something. I've been introducing the idea to a few other seniors. What is your background? I straighten in my seat up a little bit. I've had this interview, like, exchange a few times. I'm from here, so I grew up with a lot of the students. Not that I know all of them. Oh, not that I know them all well, but I'm not shy. My grades are important to me. I'm a hard worker and I've had a lot of jobs, probably more than other students. Mr. Underwood seems receptive and maintains eye contact with me. I notice he's thumping the side of his cup. His so finger- It turns out Kafka developed the first civilian hard hat. 
Lawrence for some reason. Even though he's a well-known author, he he was also apparently at one point working at like a worker's comp insurance place. I appreciate your Kafka information, but it would probably be beneficial if we continue with this story. But, but I don't want to know why his fingernail is coloring white from the pressure. I want to know why this is in Ohio. Yeah, you're right. Go on. I'll let you know if 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 anything like comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Where else? I, I, I keep forgetting what uh, voice I'm doing for this guy. He sure has a dude. I worked at the Pass and Gas. The. Oh my god, Sam. He worked at the Pass and Gas. Yeah. No. The gas shit. station. No, the, the fucking bookstore. I, listen, I hope that this is one of those gas stations that serves fried food. Yes. Listen, you're not in Ohio unless you go eat in the gas stations that serve fried food. Yeah, I worked afternoon shifts on the weekend for a while. I stocked the shelves at the grocery, too. Also, sometimes I... Sometimes... Also, they... Also, they sometimes need help at the water treatment plant and hire interns, so I've done work there on and off. What? This guy is in high school! What the fuck? You stay busy! Sad. All of your work will pay off and you should feel proud. I grip my teeth and hold back any response. After a couple of seconds, I pass and I nod slightly. Mr. Underwood pats a small stack of papers on his desk. You have excellent grades, too. You're a strong candidate. However, something I cannot glean from your file... Oh, wait. However, something I cannot glean from your file is whether or not you will be able to work with a little instruction. What I need is a student who can take the project and run with it, reporting in weekly. He pauses, waiting for a response. I'm nervous, but not from the content of the conversation. From something else. My face may betray me, but I attempt a confident nod. I'd be happy to try. What do you need? I need someone with entrepreneurial spirit to take the lead on forming a student union. I was about to say this sounds like a multi-level marketing scam. Could you imagine if, like, instead of this being, like, a school administrator... Because that would really be Ohio. Instead of being a school administrator, it's just, like, someone, someone trying to, like, get him to sell something. Oh my god. Hey, this is a fundraiser, and, like, it's for you? None of the other students are doing it? Do other countries do fundraisers? I c Hey, other countries, do you do fundraisers in school? Or do, do, you, do your countries actually just fund the schools? Leave a comment in the comment section to let me know. <laughs> it's in the experimental phase, and I'm trying to convince the board it's valuable to both the students involved and the administration. Despite an upfront cost, it looks like it's fundraiser time. As the president, you would put in a minimum amount of 10 hours a week, report to me directly, and you would have a small budget. 10 hours will not be a problem. Do you mean a group to represent all the students? As you know, our school receives federal funding. I mean... At least we know this is a public school now. Yeah. Our facility is part of the public education. <laughs> 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 oh god. <sighs> you good? Our facility is part of the public education system, so our local government is mandated to allocate money to us to help us maintain resources for our students. Yeah. You did just say you were federally funded, didn't you? Gee, I wonder what that means. The amount we receive may fl fluctuate when officials in charge... Uh, when officials change office policies legislation or the state takes on more or less than anticipated. Our school system tends to be placed below other priorities. Yeah, that is true. That is that is certainly a, a fact. 
That is true, and I'm not even saying that with sarcasm. School systems are underfunded. It's a major issue. What sort of initiatives, I guess, are more important than school? It depends on whom you ask. Insurance programs, infrastructure, subsidizing local business, law enforcement, and assistance to struggling families. At mention of his last example, I catch myself looking at the worn tip of my sneaker and redirect my gaze to Mr. Underwood. Mr. Underwood smiles. You're not going to find many here who disagree that education is important. Many moving, many moving pieces play a role in the decision making, but I didn't call you in here to talk about that. Our administration receives a cut of the budget, and then we craft our school budget from it. Year over year, the student population has been increasing while our funding has been decreasing. I mean, that sounds right. That sounds like what happened. Yeah. That is, that, that, that is reality. Yeah. Is that why there's no sign-up track for this year? Sign up for track. Sign if I could go back, I would verify you saying that. I believe you. God, this is kind of boring. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but like... It's, something might happen. It's a horror game. I, I guess. That came out more accusatory. How do you pronounce this word? Accusatory. That came out more accusatory than I intended. Thank you. Welcome. I know how to say words. We're, we're taking a hard look at our extracurricular programs. A hard look. Student representation is not the goal. Service to the school is. We need an additional manpower, and this is a relatively cheap method. And it presents you with an opportunity to help the school. Okay, but does he get paid? Probably not. This sounds like a fucking MLM. Like the, if you do well and recruit some of your hardworking friends, you will make a positive impact. Like, I swear to God, my aunt posts stuff like that. <laughs> I'm honestly not entirely sure what you're talking about. The multi-level marketing, like LuLaRoe and shit. Okay, okay, MLM. Gotcha. Not I heard you say MLM, and I'm just like, what does that stand for? That is a cool chair. Scorpio chair. If you do well and if you do well and recruit recruit some of your hardworking friends, you will make a positive impact. I cannot make promises beyond guaranteeing your paycheck. So he is getting paid. Why? I take a deep breath, collecting confidence to put forth my most important question. How much will I be paid? Minimum wage, the same amount you will receive from the library. He responded without hesitation. He was prepared. It's disappointing, but it's not more than I can realistically expect. Mr. Underwood downs the rest of his drink like and glances at the clock man. on the wall. Are you interested? I hesitate, but only for a moment. I need this. I'm out of other options. Oh no. Maybe I can reconnect with some old friends. I equipped confidence and addressed Mr. Underwood. Definitely. It seems complicated, but I can help you with whatever you need. Are you sure? This is not a small project for me either. He glances at the wall behind me again. Yes, sir. What sort of work will I be doing? Underwood smiles. This just reads very horny. It does. I don't know why. I hope it's not. Like, are you sure this is a horror game? I'm pretty sure this is a horror game. Okay. Honestly, though, this is pretty fucking terrifying. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> there you go. First, I believe you can support some of our administrative functions. We need someone to man the library here, too, for example. We may also utilize your team for event planning services. We have excess facilities access faculty rooms, and spacious conference areas. I want to rent those for external events to earn revenue. I mean, that makes sense. That's a thing people do. Oh, for like hosting workshops or conferences? I hope the library was scheduling seminars. Yes, I need to develop a formal list of your responsibilities and the responsibilities of the union as a whole. Achieve board approval and get some paperwork to you. What you need to do in the meantime is vital. Please recruit at least four other students by the end of the week. 
that will demonstrate to the board that we actually have interested and ambitious students to fuel the program. It will not work if you're the only participant. Oh. Like a bucket of water thrown on a freshly lit match. Mr. Underwood senses my mood swings. You can ask some of your... He seems to catch himself and continues in an awkward lap. He seems to catch himself and continues after an awkward lapse. Your classmates for help. It will actually be a great exercise for you preparing your, in your role as a delegator. We have, an, we have intelligent and creative students here. I'm sure you'll find a handful of willing... Um, I'm sure you will find a handful willing to support their school. Yeah. I can do that. By Friday, then? Yes, all of you meet here, and I'll give everyone an update and initial push. Do you? The bell rings. Mr. Underwood gestures to the door. You better head to the next period. I would hate to consume more of your time than I should. Yeah, because, I mean, uh, how many how many minutes did we get in between periods in school? Like, four? Four, four fucking minutes, which was not enough and completely unrealistic. Let's, let's be glad he's actually letting him go. Yeah. I mean, I can't count the number of times teachers were like, class isn't dismissed until I say so, and then I only have, like, 30 seconds to get to my next class. Yeah, halfway across the fucking school. And all the way across the school it was. Mm -hmm. And I'd get, like, fucking chewed out for being late. And it's just like they literally wouldn't let me leave. If you have questions, feel free to reach out by phone or email. Fluently, Mr. Underwood places his business card in my hands as I stand. It's a neat design. The card lists off his office phone number, cell phone number, and email address. I hope it's eggshell white. <laughs> yes! Is it strange to give your cell phone number to a student? He seems devoted. I nod reluctantly and smile. Thanks a lot, Mr. Underwood. Thank you. He waves as I open the door and move back into the hall. Collecting my belongings from the last period was easy, since I hadn't brought any. Yeah, this, this looks like an Ohio high school. I mean, it looks a lot nicer. I mean, yeah, but I mean, doesn't it kind of remind you of, like, Center Middle School? Vague, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Some students' books are still in order and haven't arrived. Uh, Some students' books are still on order and haven't arrived. Most inherited old books. What does that mean? In public school, all you get is old books. Yeah. I mean, granted, you don't have to pay for them, which is nice, but, like, I mean, I guess sometimes you'd need to pay for, like, workbooks, but not usually. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe this is, like, a special school. A special school in Anime, Ohio. Yeah, I guess so. I linger at the open locker in the hallway. Mr. Underwood's card in one hand and my phone in the other. Turner Underwood, assistant principal. I add him to my contacts. That's, that's kind of weird, honestly. Yes, very. I mean, I did have one teacher that I added to my contacts, but I mean, he's also, like, my the, friend now, because yeah. he was, like, 23 and it was yeah. my senior year. Yeah. What a guy. Hey, what's up, Chris? If you're watching this, I love you. What was I about to ask him? Ooh, what are we going to ask him? Can I get paid this week? Should I record my time worked a specific way? Or can I do anything to help get the project approved? Uh, I don't care. Um, how do you want to respond? Because honestly, I'm not sure what the fuck this project is. And I think it might just be well, murdering I'm, people or... I'm worried about getting paid... <laughs> okay, valid. Hi, Mr. Underwood. It's Lane. Do you think I can get paid this week? Yeah. I will, res I will assign you retro pay for your effort. I slip Mr. Underwood's business card into my worn wallet. 
With a metal clack, I close the empty locker. The sound echoes. The students who are shuffling around me have already entered their next classes. I haven't memorized my schedule yet, so I ease my crumpled note from my pocket. So I ease my crumpled note from my pocket. Oh, he's getting it out of his pocket. Yeah, okay. that's, that's a weird phrase. That, is, that is an odd phrase. Yeah. After, confirm, after a confirming glance, I crinkle it back and place it. I crinkle it back in place and walk. At least I know a couple people. I can ask for Mr. Underwood's project. During lunch, or this afternoon, may be a good time to ask around. In the meantime, I'll plan. Since we don't have any, since we don't have many details worked out. Otherwise, I doubt I'll persuade anyone. Two students, myself included, would be guaranteed at least. I'll need three more. Students are standing in irregular circles outside my destination. Groups mitigate past me while I approach two students in the conversation. Ooh, it's the goth girl. Okay, I got this. Why not? He... Uh, no, oh, what, wait, what, kind of, what kind of voice? I don't know. He is strict. No. And he gives the run. <laughs> no? Quieter. He is strict. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> like, so, less... Kind of like... Here, you do a voice. He is strict, and he lives right next to me. Something like that, but a little bit lower. You, you do that. I don't wanna. I'm not sure who's supposed to be talking. Are they doing a drug deal? Oh, it's hard talking. It doesn't matter how hard-assed he is. Or where we hand off. Jeez, just help me out like before. I don't know. Hey. Evan spots me with a sidelong step and widens the circle of two. Why is everyone out here? Forget it, man. <laughs> Either ignoring or reacting to my interruption, she moves against the flow of the other students. I noticed the classroom had been negotiating. I noticed the classroom they had been negotiating is near empty. I think art's canceled today. Why? I begin to move with the flow of the crowd. Evan follows beside me. It's I don't know, she didn't come in and Coach Jean just told us to head to the gym. You mean Miss Webb? Yeah, she Ross said she was really upset this morning. His eyes look past me and catch on a passing classroom door. Instinctively, I follow his darting glance and see nothing but a closed door. He continues doing this with each room we pass, so I decide to ignore it. She looked it. She was trying to find the new assistant principal. I don't know why. It's weird. What is? I don't know. It's so different this year. Oh, did you... Going back to school in the uh, COVID-2019 pandemic? L literally. I stumble hard and grip the handrail. Oop. But the loose railing provides no support. That sounds like a public school. I release it with a jerk and catch myself on the wall instead. Palms open. That is a weirdly horny sentence. Yeah. This whole game is weirdly horny. Beyond the inner railing, a narrow gap separates the flights. Murdered? The height from the second floor creates a more potent wake-up call than the smell of Mr. Underwood's coffee. <laughs> Crap, that, that'll really hurt someone before it's fixed. Huh? I write myself and continue downstairs. Did, did you ask about a work-study position? Mr. Underwood said he wanted me to start a group, like a paid club that helps the school. See, that's weird, too. You know about the layoffs, right? And with way less elective classes? Principal Decker must be def desperate, that's all. Mr. Underwood mentioned the school's budget was cut. That's more weird, not less. How can they pay you? 
There's less staff, but not less work. They have to pay someone to do it, and we're cheap. We? Yep. I face Evan outside the gym, entrance with pep in my step. The burst of energy exhausts him. It's minimum wage. You'll need to put in around five hours a week. That's not bad, honestly. Hey, no. Five hours? That's like one shift. Yeah. I've got a lower limit of ten since I'm organizing it. Evan scowls at the floor. As expected, I'm smiling. I don't know. I have a lot of questions, and you can't... Is, is he just pressuring him into a job? Yes. This That's is, what's this happening. This is ridiculous. We lock Formally eyes. Formally pressuring him into a job. Can I at least think about it? I wanted to do drama club this year. Of course. Take your time and I'll text you the details tonight. Conveniently, after I figure them out. Besides... There might not be a drama club unless someone helps out is helps out around unless here. Unless someone helps out around. Unless here. someone helps out <laughs> around here. You said a group? How many people? Three more to get us going. Want me to ask Holly? It's probably not her thing. It doesn't hurt to ask, and she's definitely gonna do it because she was in the promotional art. <laughs> Let's go in now. I think we're late. Oh, look, it's Ohio! Ohio! Oh, oh, oh H! Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> we have a stupid flag. It's the best flag. Look, it's got a triangle. It is, but it's so weird. It's the triangle flag. It, why it's got, look, why, there's a triangle why here. Why shaped like there's that? There's a triangle here. Why and then if you and then if you like, like extend that? this line, this would also eventually become a triangle. <laughs> How many triangles is that? I don't know. I lost count. But there's Enough. also a big O. And do you know what that O stands for? Opportunity for organized crime. Yes. <laughs> For what? Everyone's either sitting around or playing ball. Our art class has around 20 members, and there must be well over four classes in here. They might as well have canceled school today. I almost didn't hear Evan over the chatter. It's kind of hard to imagine the chatter because it really just looks like that it's just Lane and Evan yeah. in this gym. And I know that visual novels are just like this. Yeah. But like... <laughs> Ross might have had the right idea this time. Dressing for less. I borrow an abandoned basketball. <laughs> oh, 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 please dribble me. I haven't been oh dribbled in years. God. Please, I am just an abandoned basketball. Oh my god. I borrow an abandoned basketball, enjoying the idle, idle shooting on the corner of the court. You know what's kind of odd? Well, huh? I'm seeing this gym. Yeah. And I'm like, where the hell are like the the um, basketball hoops that are like they they like fold to the ceilings? I don't know. I feel like that's like. I feel like that's I, common, I have never but I don't not know. seen that in a gym this. in Ohio. It's this is bother. this gym does not exist in Ohio. This this is this gym exists within a it vacuum. It looks more Japanese. I mean, it is a visual novel, so maybe that's okay, what they're you're going right. for. Okay, you're right, yeah. But I mean, there's also, you know, the Ohio flag. I mean, yeah. You know what, though? The, these doors yeah. remind me... Why is there doors up here? There's not an upper end of the bleachers. Anyway, these doors Continuity remind me... Error. These doors remind me of the doors at Glenwood Middle School's uh, Valid. gym. Valid. I didn't go there, so I don't know. The gym just got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Evan follows along the sideline. So what were you two talking about? Nothing, really. I mentioned Mr. Underwood moved into our apartment building. My shot bounces off of another student's just above the rim. So I lift another ball... So I lift another ball rolling near. The fuck does that mean? He picked up a ball that was rolling by. I guess. I was tripped on it for a second. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. How did you find out? 
He asked me to move a couple boxes. He lives alone, I think, but he seems nice. Sorry I didn't text you back. What? On my next throw, the ball moves through the net with a swish. That's... it's fine. Got some good sunshine. <laughs> That's... That's fine. That line, that was perfect. Let's move on. Wait. Oh, okay. Do you want to read it? That's... it's fine. Got some good sunset sh Shit. Let me try one more time. Got some good sunset shots out there. That... okay. I'm not going to keep torturing you. We Wait, can move to the next line. Okay. That's... it's fine. Got some good sunset shots out there. Did you talk to the librarian? She said they found someone. And the gas station? What was the gas station called again? It was Pass, Pass and, and Gas. gas. No, nothing there or the grocery. The timing's off and they have enough hands. You know I can do your homework sometimes. Or cover for you. My next throw misses with a thud from the blackboard. Backboard. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just playing in a classroom. Yes. Uh, th hitting the backboard, there's just chalk dust going <laughs> fucking everywhere. There's some kid just like choking. <laughs> Why do you have a basketball in the classroom, <laughs> Lane? You're supposed to only have that in the gym. <laughs> and Lane's just like, shut up. I played basketball where I won. Oh my god. It's fine. I'm going to have this student group. If I do well, I'm sure to be steady. Right, so what will you do? Make Mr. Underwood's coffee. I make a mean mocha. I'm serious. So am I. My shot once again intercepts another student's just above the rim. A tall girl approaches us with a relaxed greeting. Hi! Oh, I did that wrong. But that's fine, you can do it again. Yeah. You can do it right Hi. on the next one. She addressed Evan, but I responded anyway. <laughs> oh my god, this dude! Yikes. What's up? It's better to take turns. I'm briefly confused and glance at Evan. Her message clicks after he nods to the basketball goal. Nods to the basketball The fuck? That's... Do you I, mean basketball hoop? They either the hoop or like the scoreboard? I'm not sure. I've never heard it called a goal before. I think it's a translation issue. This is made in Cleveland. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oops. You wanna go? Oh hang sorry. Out with them? Yeah. Nice. She nods slowly and turns. Evan stops by her speaking up, which catches me more off guard than her. Not nah, wait, this is Lane. He's a senior too, and uh... At this point I suspect a pattern. Did he become popular with girls? Nat is listening patiently as Evan trails off. The answer is no, better help... The answer is no, better help him. We're offering a few students a paid position at this school. I just started this group at the... I just started this group to help the school administration since they've been short-staffed. About five hours a week or so, it's a club that looks very good on your resume when you graduate. God, how many clubs I joined just because they'd look good on my resume and they never fucking mattered? I didn't join any clubs. You didn't miss out on... Well, I loved science clubs. I mean, I get, could you count the fun. football team as a club? I don't fucking know. Probably. Because I did that. Well, weren't you never officially on? I just couldn't play in games because I was academically ineligible, so I just could practice and stand the sideline. You had dumb bitch syndrome. Yeah. And that is okay. Yeah. I think I was in, like, some honor societies in a French club. Do you remember how, like, Megan was, like, in the French club, even though she never took French? I didn't know Megan in high school. Valid. She was wild. You'd be, um, organizing events and managing the library or the computer lab. I have no interest. As she walks away, she catches a stray basketball. I hope she takes it to the basketball shelter. I hope it's not feral. Me too. She's attractive. I send a smile to Evan. Send a smiley emoji. Your pitch needs work. Oh, wrong voice. 
Your pitch needs work. Worked on you, didn't it? Aren't you worried? I'll manage. We've got until Friday to get more members. Thanks for the wingman, though. You got it. How'd you know her, anyway? Through Holly. She knows everyone. Pulling her in basically means we're set. Like I said. Let's say you're right. Who else? Since I no longer feel confident in my multitasking to avoid disturbing that, I led us to the bleachers. What you said earlier. They need people to manage the library? I sit with my back to the wall. Why can't you just do that? You've... Yeah, it makes sense. Mr. Underwood didn't make it sound like the sole student was an option, though. It's that they didn't want... It's that... <laughs> it's that they don't want to go through the setup for a single person. Hmm. How much could it even be? Enough that it's not worth it without substantial... It, enough that it's not worth it without a substantial program. I don't like it, but you should ask Alice for help. I smile and take the census of the students <laughs> here. You're so full of solutions today. Today, huh? I approach a brooding guy and interrupts his... I approach a brooding guy and interrupts his reclined <gasps> position. Hey, Kane. No, wait, don't. Evan flinches and reaches out. Kane sits up as I approach and greets me with a look of recognition. Doesn't he look like Corey? Like, just a bit. A little, yeah. I think it's the flannel. Yeah. Here, you do his voice. I don't want to. Sub. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on with Alice? You gotta make him sound what? vaguely emo. No, this is this is his voice. Okay. What? A sudden glare. Not the response I anticipated. Your girlfriend? Why isn't she with you? He steps level with me, and then glances at Coach Jean. The coach is playing on his phone in the court bench. Kane stands taller and is much more physically imposing compared to the other students. And to me. What the fuck are you trying to say, you little shit? Okay. I'll have you know I graduated top of my oh class my in the U.S. Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids in Al-Qaeda, and I have over 300 confirmed kills. Oh my god. What? Nothing. I just... You just what? Want to be funny? Get a rise out of me? My collar tightens as he grips the chest of my shirt so forcefully that I wonder if it will tear. No, what are you? Proxies for white flags. My hands raise in. My hands raise defensively. I almost said indefinitely. <laughs> he shoves me into the stairs, the corners digging into my spine. This guy might be the school bully. I think so. Sharp pain. I wince and writhe. Play stupid fucking games, win stupid fucking prizes. He storms from the stands and into the halls. Evan helps me upright. You okay? Probably. They broke up over the break. It was... It was really public. Really? I mean, even I knew. I notice Nat looking at me from the court. She resumes play. Well, I'd say that hurt my pride if... I'd say that hurt my pride more if my back didn't hurt so much. Jeez. She dumped him, apparently, and told everyone he was a womanizing pig, a failure, and a poisonous fool. Specific. She posted it online. I've been too busy working to be plugged in. Well, maybe get some Wi-Fi, Lane. Hmm. I know. 
<laughs> I know, as in response to maybe get some Wi-Fi. <laughs> it only seems to hurt worse when I massage the area. So I stop attempting. I'll catch Alice over lunch. Think she'll join? I don't know, probably? Crazy asshole. I spend time recovering in Evan's company until our next class. As my, as my sounding board, Evan helps think of, Evan helps think out more of the group's jobs. We at least become more familiar with the idea. The, the din of the cafeteria discomforts me. Okay, this more than definitely looks like cafeteria that is not in Ohio mm -hmm. because that looks like that might be some Japanese text. Um, those vending machines do not look Ohioan. Mm -hmm. Why is there so many vending machines in this cafeteria? Now, don't get me wrong. My high school had vending machines, but not that many. They always put them, like, in a very inconvenient spot. You know what, though? You know what, though? That looks like the tables from Center Middle School. It does, yeah. The chairs were different, but it does. Somewhat Ohio. Energetic freshmen socialize with a few up outgoing upperclassmen. I don't see Evan, but scan carefully for my target. Despite the noise, there are fewer students than last year's usual. I might be wrong about that, since Mr. Underwood said there would be more students overall. The room disperses the aroma of the kitchen. Chicken strip day. Reliable as ever. Oh, I've missed school chicken strips. Mm. They tasted exactly like the chicken nuggets, but they were longer. Long they were longer! Nugget. Long nugget. I don't... If I don't find who I'm looking for, but I spot a familiar face. A short girl sits alone at the end of the table. Oh my god! <laughs> you know I what, did though? not expect it to look You know like what, that. though? This is, in fact, a school in Ohio. Yeah. I am not at all shocked that this lady is wearing cat ears in the cafeteria. I'm just surprised that she doesn't have on, like, jeans. That outfit, but jeans. Yeah, that, that's probably against her school's policy. Yeah. Yeah. She's staring at her food, expressionless, as if separated by miles. I decide to put an end to that and sit across from her. It's funny to see so many empty seats around you. <sighs> she flinches, dropping her plastic fork. Oh, hey there. Holly is radiant, beaming at me. You're right! Where is everyone? She steals my fork. I was gonna ask you that, honestly. I was gonna ask you that, honestly. I said it really weird the first time. Well, this presents an opportunity. For? Catching up! I haven't seen you since forever! You got huge! You just shrank. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> With a grin, I begin enjoying my finger food. I had to. You're okay. My vast cuteness has simply reached maximum density. You're dense, huh? <gasps> With a fork flourish that's a little too close to my face, she retorts without hesitation. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. This is the second meme <laughs> in like five minutes. Yeah. This is Ohio. It really is. I didn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> she giggles and clears her throat. Good. Now then, dear wanderer, why hast thou approached my spring after so many years? Weeks, you mean. The break isn't that long. Every day without sufficient worship is another scar upon my soul and a front to my divinity. Awfully needy for a goddess, the library kept me occupied. Working, of course. Boring as usual. <laughs> Responsible has a better ring to it. What were you doing then, oh great one? <clears throat> she hesitates. Just 
preparing for the harvest. Is it the corn harvest? Hey. Hey. I think she changed her number over the break. I can read the mood and don't pry further. Well, I hope my current tribute will make up for my hearsay. It's a start. <laughs> Were you whispering so Yes. Yes, Beautiful. I was. Her little fingers trace the edge of her tray. Her untouched food must be cold by now. Things will pick up next week. Speaking of work, though. Oh. Her positive expression dissipates. I'm starting a student union, and we could use a mascot. Interested? Cat girl mascot, cat mm -hmm. girl mascot, cat girl mascot, mm -hmm. cat girl mascot. <laughs> she scoffs with a regained smile. That's a new one. Granddaddy didn't mention it, so it must be a brand new scheme. Mr. Underwood's brainchild, cheap labor. Resume building. Oh, resume. Yes. Resume building. Yes. She's playing Minecraft. Hey, resume building. I wonder when our food will be ready. I don't know. Through valiant effort, I avoid taking with... I avoid talking with my mouth full. Figures. Granddaddy said Principal Decker was desperate for new ideas. Are you in? You can just sign up on paper and contribute or hang out as you feel like. I'm not sure about the level of commitment expected. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's my line, yeah. yes. I'm not sure about the level of commitment expected, but I don't correct myself. She pauses for a few seconds before mm -hmm. shaking her head. No, it would probably be stressful. Come on, I'll pick up your slack. You won't have to if I'm not joining. She's gripping her tray. The tendons oh, in her angry. hand visible. She is angry. But what if it was instead of the tendons in her hand visible, it was the chicken tenders in her hand visible? <laughs> Tender fingers. Tender fingers. Tendies. Okay, okay. I'll just let you know how it goes. Are you going to eat all that? Oh, no. Go ahead and tax me. Tax? What the? Thanks. Tax me? Well, I mean, she's obviously not a libertarian. No. Yeah. <laughs> she, grips, she grips my wrist as I reach for her food. But know this. <clears throat> the blood debt will be paid. I'll owe you one, okay? Okay. I shall hold you intimately to that promise, Wanderer. You missed a vow. Ever gonna get tired of being so silly? It's not silly, it's fun! Don't people make fun of you? Aww. At this age, I almost add. My supreme adorability grants safe passage. Can I make fun of you if you're feeling left out? His expression becomes, oh, sorry, her expression becomes difficult to read, but mm. only for a moment. I'm not. Oh, hey, mind if I sit with you? Evan stands beside the table, waiting permission to intrude. Just as, as, just as I'm about to tell him it's fine, Holly beats me to it. Another one joins the flock. Please kneel, traveler. I'll just sit. What took you? Calculus is no joke this year. His expression is palatable. With palpable. Oh, palpable. Palatable. Pal 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 Emperor, Emperor Palpatine, with a few extra Newtons, he plops down. Ooh, who is this? Let's make up a voice on the spot. Really? <laughs> Did you find your limit, Jimmy? Oh my god. I'm not gonna keep doing okay. that. Really? Did you find your limit, Jimmy? <laughs> well, he didn't say Jimmy. I was just doing Fuck. a really bad impression of Carl from Jimmy Neutron. Really? Did you find your limit, Evan, or whatever the fuck? <laughs> just next. Evan rolls his eyes as a thin girl slides in place beside Holly. Her hairstyle changed over the break, so it takes me it takes me a second to recognize her. She looks at me with a grin, which helps jog my memory pretty quick. Welcome to the Foul Feast! Holly bounces with enthusiasm and bumps her shoulders with Alice. Thank you. You like Mr. Underwood's class? I respect the man. 
He's a good instructor. Speaking of, I'd like to talk to you. Oh? I glance at Evan, whose expression tells me the plan's off. Mr. Underwood told me about the student union. I'll be joining, of course. Great. As the president, naturally. My smile fades. I've been wanting an opportunity like this for a while, to really start making some changes around here. It took someone new in the administration to incite the shakeup, but I suppose that's how it goes. I'm glad you're into it, bud. Mr. Underwood already agreed. The valedictorian leading the charge makes for a compelling sell to the school board. Sensing conflict, uh -huh. Holly shrinks. Evan eats his meal. <laughs> he just eats it all at once, just yeah. all of it. <laughs> it's Kirby. I'm the best suited for seeing this through. I lean forward on my empty tray. Did he mention how many hours I'd get? <laughs> he said I'd need to give at least 10 hours weekly to manage the group, but we're not sure how utilized members will be. You can always work less. I'll make sure to have someone cover for you. I stand up from the table, tray in one hand, and shoving my other into my pocket. Excuse me? I, I like to imagine that he's trying to shove his hand into his pocket, but he can't quite find his he, pocket. Yeah, he's... So he's, he's just doing that thing where he... He's, he's wearing basketball shorts, oh and, God. like, the pocket's, like, what shifted to, like... he pants himself? His phone was too heavy, and his shorts just <laughs> fell down. And... <laughs> Moving away properly. I slop the... I slap the food tray onto the recycled staff and step into the hall. I yank my phone to my ear and listen to the dial-out noise. No. And eventually, Mr. Underwood's voicemail message. My phone vibrates. Can't talk now, what do you need? Oh wait, no, that... Can't talk now, what do you need? Alice wants to be president, where does that leave me? If Alice would like to try for this spot, the fair approach would be democratic. The founding members will vote for the president Friday. If? I tuck my phone away and return to the cafeteria. Holly excused herself from our table. Oh, she's my favorite. <laughs> I wonder if it's because she... <laughs> she's I, the most fun to voice. I, I know, I, I just love you. I love you too. I wonder if it's because she was done. I think so. I know so. With that, I can pull together a group in no time. Alice, did you even talk to Mr. Underwood? <laughs> My confrontation is met with a smirk. What did he say? The president's position will be put on... The president's position will be put to vote on Friday. That's quite fair. I can't argue with that, I suppose. Frustrated, I said. It is, and you're outnumbered. Hmm, it won't do for you to intimidate others. We both look at Evan, who won't look at either of us straight on. I'm with Lane, sorry. Of course, he's consistent. Fine, I'll soon have followers of my own. On TikTok? Yeah. Cool. With an enthused tap on the table, she stands. Well then, gentlemen, I do look forward to establishing bipartisan solutions after my swearing-in ceremony. I hope that's just like, instead of like being a regular swearing-in ceremony, it's like a ceremony where she like, she goes up to a podium, she's just like, fuck. <laughs> yes. Shit. Yes. Ass. I like these two because I do very good with student council president types and cringy cat girl types for voices. I wonder why. Evan and I look at each other in silence. Alex acts uncharacteristically shy about us judging her. Hmm. For now, I hope to have a spirited competition. I'll bid you both adieu. After she leaves, I turn to Evan. What were you talking about while I was gone? She was brainstorming ways to recruit people quickly. And? The short version is to make false promises, get lots of students to join on that basis, 
Have the group established, then let things settle however they settle. Seriously? That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Mr. Underwood would lose respect for me if he found out. He might even fire me. Th th think about it. Has he given any specific instructions? A few. So it's reasonable, expected even, that a student acting on his own wouldn't get all the details straight. You see? I'm not incompetent. Doesn't matter. He's taking a risk by letting you figure things out alone. He wouldn't be able to justify firing you. After it's already set up anyway, and... Stop. I'm not doing that. But you need the money. If Alice does it... Then I might get less work from the school. Big fucking deal. Oh, he said the F word. He said the F word. He said the F word. At, the sna at my snap, he flinches and looks at the remainder of his lunch. Okay. Are you gonna finish? You can have the rest. This dude just eats everyone's food. That reminds me of yeah, me. I don't think he bought a lunch. I, you know what? That's fair. Because he is poor. Listen, though, when I was in high school, just, I know, yeah. so many people at my table would just, like, would get free lunch, but then, like, not want it. Yeah. And they'd be like, you you gonna, you gonna eat that? And they'd be like, nah, I don't like sweet potato fries. So then I'd have, like, this giant fucking yes. pile of sweet potato fries, and I'd eat so many fucking sweet potato fries. It was great. No one liked the sweet potato fries. I don't know why. They were awesome. Yeah. Did that with broccoli, too. Oh, I love broccoli. I want some fucking broccoli. Thanks. God, why and I elegantly, I pocket cheese? his last morsel. And not long after we move on to finish the day's classes. Some of this narration is very odd. Yeah. We've been doing this for, like, an hour. We'll cut it quits here. Okay. This is a good, this is a scene transition anyway. So yeah. I, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, Let if, us know if you want us to stream more of it. Well, this 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 is a pre-recorded let's play rather than a live stream. Okay, same shit. It is. <laughs> it it really is. But if you would like us to do more, uh, let us know. You know, it was kind of fun. Did you have fun? She didn't have fun. I I did when I finally got to voice characters I enjoyed. <laughs> I just didn't like Evan. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, this is a video. <laughs>